This is the iScale app. Um, this was rejected by Phase 4 today, actually, so you will not see it in the App Store. Um, probably has a lot to do with the fact that the phone can't actually support the weight of a full-grown person. So, uh, that's a problem. But we are thinking that the app could be used to weigh babies 12 to 18 weeks old. Here at Apple, we receive millions of application submissions every five minutes. Four inches. On a schoolyard football team, you know, sometimes the little fat kid doesn't get chosen until the last. So if you're trying to get an application into the App Store, you want me to like you. And I don't really like many people. So. Hammer app. What do you have, Orange? Hammer app. Straight in from phase three. Uh, I tried it out last night, I really like it. Uh, do you guys want to explain it or should I just go ahead and... Phase three approved the hammer app because most people don't have a hammer on them at all times. You know what I wish we had is an app that counted how many iPhones we've destroyed in our research. Hey Lauren, uh, I need you to pee on this phone. What? It's a it's a pregnancy test app, so um, yeah, I, I need you to, to pee on the phone. If you yeah, I'll mind. do that. I was really curious to see if that a application worked, and so I hacked into the Phase 3 server, I downloaded the application onto my iPhone, I peed on my iPhone, and found out I was pregnant. Luke, how in the world is this application useful? Okay, what's your birthday? Luke, I know how the application works. I, I have it on my phone. February 21st. February 21st. Thank okay. you, Brett. You're gonna open it up. Okay. Scroll through here until you get to February. It's 21st. Then, Scott, today is not your birthday. Right, it's not my birthday. Usually the apps just aren't useful. And, and there is one exception, I believe. And that is Pappy Jump. We all love Pappy Jump.